Welcome back to Live Now from Fox. Want to get back to this live look here in Pennsylvania. You see him right there. That is that escape murderer. Danilo Cavalcante, 34-year-old man, he is convicted of murder, wanted for homicide out of Brazil, and was on the run for several days after escaping state prison. You see right there, police throwing him in the back of that vehicle. He is now captured and off the streets. And earlier we saw them doing kind of a photo op with him, uh, just celebrating their capture. And it, I said something about uh, he didn't appear to be injured, but just a bit ago they zoomed in on him, and you could actually see the top of his head was bleeding. Uh, so not sure what went on there, but this just happened in about the past, I'd say, 10 to 15 minutes or so actually you can see him right there sitting on the side or inside that um, vehicle there so look at the sheer amount of police it took to make this happen this was a huge search it went on for about two weeks and that uh, 34 year old man again that being Danilo Cavalcante is now in cuffs once again back in custody and off the streets and a lot of people in Pennsylvania in the Chester County area can rest easy tonight knowing he won't be on the prowl now he made his way into some people's uh, onto people's property he was captured by uh, some trail cameras I believe actually got in to somebody's garage um, and ended up getting a 22 caliber rifle. Looks like right now they're cutting his shirt off. Might be looking to see if he's got any wounds or anything of that nature. Kind of inspecting him before they take him back off to jail. But again, going back to what I was saying, he uh, had gotten into uh, somebody's garage and actually got a hold of a 22 caliber rifle and then ended up taking off. And I had read this morning that that homeowner was able to fire around seven shots at him as he was on the run but did not get hit, um, as far as we know at this point anyway. But he continued on the run. Um, and now as of this morning, he is off the street. So a very dangerous person now back in police custody. So I want to go back to a post I was looking at here. So it was 825 this morning when the Pennsylvania State Police posted this to their Twitter, just saying a press conference announcing the details of the capture of Danilo Cavalcante is scheduled for 930 a.m. at the Pomar Lynn Fire Company, a firehouse there in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania, if you're familiar with that area. And right now we're looking again at a live look here at a chopper up in the air watching this all go down looks like they're putting a different set of cuffs on him um, after they kind of looks like they checked him for injuries but like I said earlier they did zoom in on the top of his head and you could see that he was actually bleeding from the top of his head so we don't know how that happened and how this all went down exactly but this is a very fluid and active situation well it's not active in terms of him being escaped anymore but active in terms of where do things go from here and how did this all happen trying to learn a lot of that information which I would imagine we will learn at 9 30 a.m this morning so when that press conference does kick off we will bring that to you of course live raw and unfiltered